Well, we're back, everybody. Um, time to make some game-changing uh, decisions here. And actually, uh, what's the harm? Besides, Tullius doesn't really want her here either. Um, you're right, the Thalmor have no business here. Well, we do hate the Thalmor. <laughs> yeah. So, do we just send her off? I don't know. I think it might be good for the purpose of that we want everyone to agree and maybe... Well, I could say what's the harm besides Talius isn't really... But that might piss him off that yeah. we're not pissing his side. So, he's just right. Let's be gone with the Thalmor bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Better not. May we proceed? Yes, let's proceed. Something to say first. Where's the subject? Here we go. The only reason I agreed to attend this council was to deal with the dragon menace. There's nothing else to talk about. Unless the Empire is finally ready to renounce its unjust claim to rule over the free people of Skyrim. I knew he wouldn't be able to resist. Temporary truce to allow the dragonborn here. To deal with the dragon, nothing more. I consider even talking to the Empire a generous gesture. Are you done? <laughs> Did you just come here to make speeches, or can we get down to business? Yes, let's get this over with. Are we ready to proceed? Yes, I'm ready. Yeah, I'll open. General Tullius, this council is unprecedented. We are gathered here at the Dragonborn's request. Sorry, real quick. Um, what are you doing? Subtitles. Where's that at? Yo, you put that on there, guys. Yeah, but I only did one. Um, there should be another settings for it. Controls, no. Display. Maybe it's in the Here, general subtitles. Turn that on. Alright. Should, should help, actually. Because this seems like a general conversation that we're just sitting by, so... You all respect the spirit of High Grossgar. Do your best to begin the process of achieving a lasting peace in Skyrim. Who would like yeah. to open the negotiations? Yes, let's get down to it. We want control of Markov. That's our price for agreeing to a truce. So that's why you're here, Ulfric? You dare to insult the Greybeards by using this council to advance your own position? Jarl Elisus. General, this is outrageous. You can't be taking this demand seriously. I thought we were here to discuss a truce. Elisus, I said I'd handle it. Alfred, you can't seriously expect us to give up Markarth at the negotiating table. You hope to gain in council what you've been unable to take in battle. Sure, Jarl Ulfric does not expect something for nothing. Yes, that'd be entirely out of character. <laughs> In return. Wait, General, you don't intend to just hand over Markarth to that traitor? This is how the Empire repays us for our loyalty? Enough. First, let's be clear. This council wasn't my idea. I think it's a waste of time. You are a traitor to the Empire. And deserve a traitor's death. But I at least will negotiate in good faith. Since we're all here at your request, I'd like to hear what you think Markarth is worth. Oh no, don't put this on me. How about Riften? Dawnstar seems like a fair trade. Oh my god. What? <laughs> Do we have to like juggle cities right now? Well, I hate politics. Flipping politics, man. Well, I like Riften, so let's give him Dawnstar. <laughs> To Marker, the source of most of Skyrim's silver. Hardly. Riften seems like a better choice to me. Well fortified, easily resupplied from across Lake Conrick, plus all the mead we can drink. Beer. 
You asked my opinion, I gave it to you. There are advantages to gaining Dawn Star. You're right, Rift and Safar is a fair trade for Markarth. I say the first one, let's just... Yeah, let's just... We yeah. have another goal. Yeah, we do. We just want to slay a dragon. <laughs> fair enough. I was hoping that you could put aside your loyalties for the greater good. I did. I see you're firmly in Ulfric's camp. Still, now you're just assuming. having another port would ease our supply situation considerably. Better than nothing, I suppose. But Ulfric will need to offer a lot more if he wants me to give up Markarth without a fight. The Dragonborn has spoken, Dullius. Markarth will be ours. <laughs> wait, 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 I didn't say that. <laughs> see if there's anything to have your talk with you. Oh, where's Armor? You disappoint me, Dragonborn. <laughs> Come on! We don't care. He's the Empire guy. Name. True. But it seems you intend to favor Ulfric. <laughs> Do. I can see now that this is not a negotiation at all. Oh boy. I know you, Ulfric. If I hand over Markarth, you'll be ready with a new demand. You'll never defeat the Empire, and you know it. But you're willing to sacrifice thousands for your own selfish ambition. Soon enough, I'll have you back under the Hetman's axe. And this time, there won't be any dragon to save you. Can we just go out yeah, and just slay him? <laughs> All right. Stop. Are you so blind to our danger that you can't see past your pitiless agreement? So he is sit arguing about nothing while the fate of the land hangs in the balance. Is he with you, Delphine? If so, I advise you to tell him to watch his tongue. So uh, making sense he right is now. With me, and I advise you both to listen to what he has to say before you do anything. Don't you understand the danger? Don't you understand what the return of the dragons means? Aldrin has returned. The world needs him. Even now, he devours the souls of your fallen comrades. He grows more powerful with every soldier slain in your pointless war. Can you not put aside your hatred for even one moment in the face of this mortal danger? Wise words. I don't know about the end of the world. But this dragon situation has gotten out of hand. Yeah, that's why we're here. If this truce will help the dragonborn here put an end to that menace, we both gain. Remember that, Alfred. Now, back to the matter at hand. <laughs> you know as well as I do that we can't God. hand over Markarth on these terms. Damn imperial arrogance. I'm listening. We want compensation for the massacre at Carthwaist. You slaughtered the very people you claim to be fighting for. True sons of Skyrim would never do such things. Damned Imperial lies. My men would never stoop to such methods, even in retaliation for your arsery castle. They're both All wrong. The blood yeah. <coughs> on your head. So, Dragon Ball, <laughs> what do you say? <laughs> Making it hard, man. I'll fix the conversation for example. Who's to say what happened at... Oh man, what are we doing? Who's to say what happened at Karth Waston? The haven't... problem here is, is if we say what I want to say, like, uh, who's to say what happened? Okay. Then we side again with Ulfric, and I think Dullius might go crazy. <laughs> and I know there is one specific set of answers where you can actually start a fight in here <laughs> yeah it's probably if you side too many times with one side maybe well i think you should compensate maybe. we'll, we'll make up with him later let's just keep well, it a little sir. bit impartial here for once you'll actually pay for your crimes you know i can't agree to these terms the emperor would repudiate this treaty and i would be recalled lord bone what will these demands end i'm listening we want Walter mm -hmm. removed as Jarl of Winterhold and an Imperial candidate put in his place. What next, Talius? Shall I just hand over all the side? <laughs> I, I guess like I have no choice but to let the Dragonborn decide, although I'm starting to doubt his fairness. We I just gave you this one! So, Dragonborn, this guy's a dick! Can we just say? kill him? <sighs> I agree, Ulfric should turn over Winterhold. No, he doesn't. It's his home! No, no. Any more territory. As I expected, you favor your friends. Oh yeah, you're a dick. You're an outsider. Don't hand me I'm a Nord too. Piss and call it brandy. <laughs> These terms are still not acceptable. You see what talking to them gets us. Yeah. 
Yeah. Out with it then. Never mind. I can see that bunch of kids. the best terms you'll get from this campaign. So be it. The Empire at least puts the greater good above our own interests. That's up. It seems we may have an agreement. Jarl Ulfric, General Tullius. These are the terms currently on the table. Markarth will be handed over to Ulfric's forces. Jarl Igmund will step down, and Thunghor Silverblood will become the Jarl of Markarth. Ulfric will allow imperial forces into the Pale, Gold the Elder will go into exile, and Brynna Merilith will assume the Yalkin. The Stormcloaks will pay appropriate compensation for the massacre at Kartwigston. You both agree to this? Sounds fair. The yep. sons of Skyrim will live up to their agreement, as long as the Imperials hold to theirs. What about you, Alyssa? Are these terms to your life? Speak up! I'm sure General Tullius is waiting to do your bidding. I have nothing to say to that murderer. General, you've proven yourself a good friend to Skyrim. I continue to trust that you will do your utmost to safeguard our interests. Thank you, Jarl Ellison. I appreciate your loyalty. These terms blatantly favor the rebels. Everyone here knows that. But the Empire will accept them until the Dragon Menace is dealt with. After that, Alfred, there will be a reckoning. Can we just side with the Great Beards and be an impartial, <laughs> like, <laughs> just <laughs> a heavy price not do politics? I hope it was worth it. Jarl Balgruf, I assume you are familiar with the Dragonborn plan? Yes, I'm ready to do my part. Just say the word, and my men will help you spring this trap. But the difficulty remains, how to lure a dragon to Dragon's Reach at all? Well, that's an excellent question. You haven't overlooked that bit of detail, have you? Ah, I do like my adventure. I anticipated my problem. While you were arranging this meeting, I was busy in the Library of Skyhaven Temple. An unguessed troll had launched the raid. But the important thing is that the blades recorded many of the names of dragons in this room. Cross reference in this to Delphine's map of Dragon Burial Site. I believe I've identified one of the dragons that already described. How does that help us? Don't you see? The names of dragons are always three words of power. Shouts. By calling the dragon with his voice, he will hear you wherever he might be. Hmm, that is handy. So if we just stand on that porch and just call the name of the dragon, he will come? It's like a summon. Why would he come when called? He's not compelled to, but dragons are prideful by nature. That's true. And loathe to refuse a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> Your voice in particular is like the good tree. <laughs> After your victory in the war, I think it's very likely that you will be unable to resist the all right, wise words, man. I like Asburn. Yeah, me too. Asburn's cool. I just don't like the blades anymore. Nope. Ah, indeed. I'm no master of voice like these words are to. But it is written here in the scroll. Old Arkeen, winged with snow hunter. I hope this torch gives you. So? No, what? Turns out he's a dragon. But he helped me. That's fine. We needed his help. Now we don't. And it's long past time for him to pay for his work. What? Hey. And he's I not just any dragon. He was the right hand of Alderaan. Whoa! He committed atrocities so infamous they are still remembered thousands of years later. Well, he has the right to he make mistakes. I like to die. He, he reformed. To die. And it falls to you to kill him. Well, well screw you, Delphi. I'm sorry, but we would dishonor our oaths as blades if we continue to help you. The funny thing is, the more the pro the story progresses, I'm starting to side more and more with the dragons. Yeah. The <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can we just pick the, the dragon side? Yeah. <laughs> that would be good. 
that's so, kind of always the thing, you know. Humans will always be humans, and they will always be in this same stupid circle of destruction. And, and I never like that. No. The older I get, the more I feel like I just don't want to side with humans anymore. No. <laughs> it's kind of like a movie avatar, you know, where you're starting to side with the alien species over the humans because exactly. they have a more advanced way of just dealing with stuff. And they're peaceful, most of the time. So, all the yarls are going back now, so everybody's here in one place. So if we really want to be... Can we just kill Talius? Can we just shout him off the, off the mountain? I just really want to kill Talius. Alright, quick save. I really don't like him. <laughs> Let's quick save. Oh, Talius! Do you like flying? Your buddy can go so... Boost! <laughs> Bye, General Tullius. Bye, General Tullius. <laughs> so, good riddance. Oh boy, full out battle. Oh boy, <laughs> now we've done it. Oh, Delphine is fighting. Delphine is fighting me. All right, just let him kill us. I don't have to take this. I'm not gonna die to their hands. I'm just gonna load my quick save again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that, that was satisfying. That was satisfying. <sighs> Didn't that feel good? <laughs> Look, gone back in time. Maybe that's a good thing to do for us at the ending. Just screw it all. Oh, <laughs> well, we did that once before, where I shouted in uh, White Run, and then the guards came after us. I think it yeah. was on, like the third episode, or even the second episode. Well, one of the first episodes it was at least. Ah, oh, man, that was so sad. <laughs> I didn't actually look at the time when we started this. Ugh, I have no clue. Did you? No. Well, I think that's actually a good mark to wrap up the, the episode. Next episode, we're going to prepare the trap for Oda Bing. Uh, we'll see how if our predictions of how Dragon's Reach works to trap the dragon are actually true. So, uh, find out in the next episode of Skyrim. <laughs> see you later, guys. Bye. <laughs>